Sucker! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the most amazing day ever. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm very excited for today's video because I'm super confused and I haven't seen people really talking about this yet other than Twitter where this went mega, 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 mega. Remember Megamind the movie? That was a great movie. Mega viral. And it is that Jeffree Star is allegedly suing Loray. Hi, I'm editing right now, but quick reminder, I am vlogging every single day in June on my second channel, as well as a new drama video every day on this channel. So go over and subscribe, it'll be linked below. And yeah, enjoy the video. Mwah. And you're probably, first of all, if you're like, who's Loray? Who's Jeffree Star? I think we know who Jeffree Star is at this stage, you know, <laughs> Jeffree Star. But Loray, on the other hand, you know, is less well known. He is James Charles' best friend. That's all you needed to know. He is best friends with James Charles, and they are best friends with Charlie D'Amelio, Dixie D'Amelio, and the TikTokers, and that's really their thing, you know, that's it. You, that's them. So, it's important to note that I want to make at the forefront here that Loray is, like, doing this meme that Jeffree Star is suing him, and everyone is laughing at it, everyone's like, ha 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 ha, and I get it, it's funny, I really do, I get it, Jeffree Star suing someone, ha ha ha, I get it, however, this is hot on the heels of Loray, which is, no one's talking about, by the way, this is hot on the heels of Loray getting called out for not addressing the James Charles situation with all of the minors at all. James Charles's close friend group were getting called out for not speaking on it, not, you know, distancing themselves, you know, still following him, still enabling the behavior, you know, being seen in videos with him, being seen promotionally with him, personally. Loray was getting called out for that. And Loray didn't address it in any way. He just continued going about it with James Charles, which he's allowed to do. And so him making this meme that's went super viral about Jeffree Star has been a distraction. And you know, everyone is now laughing that, oh my god, Jeffree Star is suing Loray and ha 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 ha. And I, I really do, I, I find the comedic value in that. I'm not saying anything that this isn't funny. It is funny that Jeffree Star is suing someone and sues everybody and this is his only way of, you know, getting attention and all like that, if this is true. You know what I mean? We've seen it with Jeffree Star. However, I don't find this that funny because Loray was getting called out for not making his stance on the James Charles thing clear whenever he's his direct best friend and therefore is now has this, you know, thing with Jeffrey that people are now talking about and it's now gone back to Jeffrey as opposed to the conversation with James. I mean, incredibly smart marketing. Incredibly smart marketing by LeRae's team or whoever's in this. And even more so if this isn't real. So basically LeRae had tweeted a picture, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and it was from his Instagram story and someone was like, what is your biggest fear or whatever? And he put a picture of Jeffree Star. Then he shows that Jeffree Star messaged him personally saying that what is his lawyer's, you know, contact details. And <laughs> LeRae responds with like, I don't know if you're lying or whatever like this. Like, so, and then posted this which then goes to show us, first of all, water with ice, mm. that Jeffree Star wants to sue Loray, which in itself, like, we're not being told if this is true or false. However, everyone is running with the fact that this is true, which, I mean, I get it because Loray hasn't said that it's not. However, if this isn't true, then it goes to show that this is just a way of, you know, getting Loray and Jeffree Star as opposed to Loray and James Charles. Now, Loray is someone that I honestly have no opinions about, and my last real event that I can remember him mentally as, if you have been on my channel since summer, you'll remember, he was the one who had the first, one of the first, YouTuber influencer birthday bashes. Remember Nikita Dragon threw him a Nikita Dragon, you know, dragon style party B-Day bash, and it had all of your favorite influencers there, including my favorite influencer, Emma Chamberlain. Remember all of the YouTubers went to this party in peak, peak, peak COVID and were posting about it, no mask, no social distance, spitting on each other, licking each other, hugging each other, all this mess. So that's what I, you know, mentally have Lorea's in my head, like that event, you know? This shit is so good. Have you drank water today? Maybe you should. 
Um, so let me show you this tweet now. And so I had quoted it and said, LMFAO, your best friend is James Charles, let's stop deflecting. And I can't believe that, like, I feel like we're all pretty well tuned in at this stage with influencers, the way they act, the way they do stuff for, you know, attention, the way they do stuff to, like, deflect or whatever. Like that. I feel like we're well in this now, me and you, to realize that, in my opinion, Loray coming out with a tweet that's, like, mocking Jeffree Star and it goes mega, 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 mega viral is a distraction for the fact that people have been so on his ass for not distancing himself from James Charles. Right? James Charles, Jeffree Star, we know the history there, we know the correlation. It's always James versus Jeffree, and whenever one of them's in the news, the other one is quiet, and... Are we not seeing that that's what's happening here? In my humble opinion. What do you think? With that being said, here's the tweet. So, LeRae said, Let's do it, baby, I know the law. Which is directly quoting a James Charles meme. James Charles said to someone that he was going to sue them, and I can't remember what it was for. They were like, he was like, take this down or I'll sue you, or I want your legal team, whatever. And the person was like, let's do it, baby, I know the law. And so he's doing it now, he's saying, let's do it, baby, I know the law, which is, you know, the meme of James Charles. And here we go again, we're seeing the correlation between James and Jeffrey. I mean, if this is true, it's funny. If it's not true, it's funny. But in the overall context, Lorray, I, I don't find anything you do funny whenever you enable people that make me sick on this platform. But that's just me. You can have your own opinion. You can do your own thing. So, on his Instagram story, he was doing a Q&A. Mm -hmm. And someone said, what is your biggest fear? And he just posted this picture of Jeffree Star, which is funny. I, I do think this is funny. And it's a really weird picture where Jeffrey's like looking through the thing. It's a terrifying picture and it's a funny post on his story. I'm just confused as to why this would warrant Jeffree Star messaging LeRae asking for his legal team. Right? So he then posts this screenshot from Jeffree Star and now I'm leading to believe that this is real because I mean it has everything Jeffree Star um, 30, 13 million followers, you don't follow each other on Instagram, you both follow Jaclyn Hill. So, like, this is exactly what it would show if Jeffrey, you know, had messaged LeRae. Which, I mean, we're taking it at face value, this is real, allegedly. So, it is Jeffrey saying, can you send me your lawyer's contact information? Thanks. Full stop. I just don't get it. I get that because this went viral, 150,000 likes on Twitter, which is really, really, really good. Because it's so funny that Jeffrey is so, like, he just sues everybody and he threatens to sue everybody and he has this hierarchy about him. But if this is real, what is Jeffrey suing about? Like, this is an Instagram story. Ask me questions while I wait for my food. Biggest fear. It's just a picture of Jeffrey. Like, why is Jeffrey, like, if this is real, it's, it's so hard for me to believe that this is real, but we're not being told that this isn't real, and it's been up for, like, a day, we haven't been given any retractions, so I'm taking it that this is real. Why would Jeffrey say, can you send me your lawyer's contact information? Thanks. What? I just don't get it. And so Lorraine then said, I can't tell if this is real or a joke, which is where I'm at with it. And then it's like, Jeffrey, if he was like, oh, like, what's your lawyer's team or whatever like that? Like, what's your contact information? You know, if he was making a joke about suing him, why would Jeffrey do that? Because Jeffrey literally does not message or fuck with the people in James Charles' circle anymore. Not even James Charles' best friend. What is going on? I, I, I'm like looking at this story, like side-eyeing it. The entire time. And everyone is finding it so funny. Everyone is like, oh, running with it. Jeffrey suing Ray, whatever like that. And if we're taking it at face value, my title's going to be called this because we're literally being seen that he's looking for his, like, lawyer and whatever. So he's suing him, allegedly. But, like, why? And why would Jeffrey message Lorraine? Is this Lorraine's way of just distracting from the James Charles thing? Did Jeffrey actually send this? Did Jeffrey actually want to sue him? Is Jeffrey making a joke? 
I just don't get it. Call me stupid. I know I am not the smartest person out there, but why is this story so confusing? And why are all the replies people talking about Jeffrey suing him? Like they know that this is for sure Jeffrey suing him. And all the replies as well, which is something I do want to point out, which is the, the concerning part to me. Sorry, this shit is so, do you hear that? This shit is so good. The thing that's really pissing me off is that all of the replies are <laughs> people with icons like this. So, Larray fans. And they're all, you know, posting James Charles memes. One of them said, oh, this is why I love James so much. Larray, this is why we love James. Larray, we are team James. All of the responses are now pro James. So... Um, okay, <laughs> anyways, so my overall thing in this, other than the fact that this has now been a breeding ground for the James Charles fans underneath this tweet being like, Lorraine, yay, distraction for James, my overall take on this, you can have your own, is that I'm believing that this is real. I believe that Jeffrey is making a joke. I believe that Jeffrey is satirical here, whatever the fuck, saying, you know, I want to see you, or something like that, like, ha 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 ha, and Larray has posted it online. It's just weird to me, because it seems like Jeffrey would do this with the aim of then, you know, it being like a funny thing, but Larray has posted this, you know, like, making fun of Jeffrey Star. And I don't know if Jeffrey Star was looking at it like that, because Jeffrey was doing it as in trying to be, like, friendly friendly, if I'm thinking of it how a normal person would, but then it's Jeffrey Star, so maybe he actually wants to say. But he's now posted this, so it's like, you know, mocking uh, Jeffree Star. And all the responses are literally people saying how much they prefer James Charles, that they love James Charles, and it's very interesting. I mean, here's the thing. Lorraine knew what he was doing whenever he posted this. Some hand sanitizer. Lorraine knew what he was doing. He knew that it was going to make a joke about Jeffrey, and I feel like Jeffrey knew that that's what this was going to do. And I mean... Uh, it worked. Nearly 200,000 likes on it. I just, it makes me personally feel a bit weird whenever Lorray is refusing to acknowledge anything to do with his best friend James Charles. And he now has this post about Jeffree Star, which it always goes back to. It's always going back to Jeffree Star, Miss fucking Jafar Starfish. And now the attention's on Lorray and Jeffree Star as opposed to Lorray and James Charles. And I think we're just seeing that like, with James Charles, with James Charles' friends or whatever, none of them ever want to, like, address whatever is going on, regardless of what that is in the moment. You know what I mean? I want to know what your opinion is, though. What way are you taking this? Are you taking this as Jeffrey suing? Is Jeffrey making a joke? Was this photoshopped? Is Lorray making fun of Jeffrey? Is Lorray doing this as a distraction? Like, this is so... Why am I struggling to comprehend this? I get that, ha 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 ha, I get it. But like, everyone else in the responses is like confused. What's going on? Let me know. We can talk about it below. Bye. Mwah.